something I like to call uh, Summer Spirals. Our colors this week are Essie Saint Tropez, Sally Hansen's Blew Me Away, Sally Hansen Tr Twisted Pink, and Essie's Roar Range with a little white and your dotted tools. So let's begin with Saint Tropez, and you're going to go over your nails and do a couple of coats and remember between each coat try to let it dry just at least a little bit because that helps the next coat have a good base to hang on to. So once you kind of go around and do your two to three coats on each nail um, and we've let that dry completely then we can take out our dotting tools and mine I got off Amazon for about three dollars or so and we're going to get started with Blue Me Away. With the Blue Me Away, you want to take a sort of large-ish dotted tool and you're going to make a single dot on each nail. The pattern here is you want to do them on opposite sides for each nail. So if you do the bottom left on one, the next nail should be the top right. And you're going, going to go around and do that pattern. Then we follow it with the raw range and you want to use a dotted tool that is slightly smaller than the tool you used for the blue dot. And you're going to go around in a spiral sense and go around the blue and sort of, I guess, you know, create a circle around it up until the point where you hit your nail bed or your cuticle. Next, we take our pink color, dab a little on some paper or whatever you have, grab your dotting tools, and now we're going to go a step down smaller in the dotting tool size. And you're going to continue the spiral pattern by going around and doing a circle around the previous orange that you just did. Again, you do it all around until you get to your nail bed or cuticle. Once that is done, you'll start to see sort of a little, you know, uh, pattern form in here. We then go ahead and we take another dotting tool that is, again, smaller than the size you just used for the pink, and we're going to use that for the white color. And for me, this was my smallest dotting tool. And I go around each nail and I complete that circle. At this point, it's becoming a semicircle because, you know, the spirals get bigger. And once you do that along each nail, be careful. Try to be as close to perfect as you can. But as you guys can see, I was not perfect at all in my work. But it's okay because when it comes together, no one's looking that close at your nails. And if they are and they don't like it, oh well, too bad, too sad for them. You did a great job. Give yourself a pat on the back for being that steady. Once you're done with that, you'll see a beautiful spiral pattern here. And again, remember that every other nail sort of mimics a look that it ends up looking like they're connected. And once you're done with that, we want to take our top coat and make sure that all those are dry. Once it is completely dry, you take your top coat and you just brush it on each nail and that allows us to have our beautiful shine. And guess what? Voila! You did it! So that is my Summer Spirals nail design. Again, try to be as close to perfect as you can with this one, but if you're not, it's okay because as you guys can see here, it still looks fantastic. Thank <laughs> you.